All right, so this is a demo for the FBXL Chrome extension. Uh, it's a companion tool for our FBXL tool suite. So it's a suite of Google Sheets based tools for uh, Amazon sellers. And the purpose of the extension is to help with kind of the data importing and exporting into the tools and allows you to just kind of maximize your efficiency within Seller Central in how some of the tools function. So uh, kind of hopping into some of the core features a uh, few of them have to do with the uh, bulk campaign uh, platform within Ad Manager. So our ads tool allows you to export um, optimized bulk files that you can use to manage your PPC. And this first tool allows you to um, essentially create automatic scheduled uploads of bulk files, so you can have bid optimization files, you can have uh, new campaign generation files, you can have uh, bulk negative files, so there's a few different file types that you might want to upload, and this on a task scheduler like this allows you to uh, kind of day part and conserve your budget at certain times of the day, certain times of the week, as well as uh, really kind of segment your strategy at different times. So um, you can see here's kind of the input for it. It's just going to be a task name, uh, the time that you want to run it, and then your marketplace ID, which you get from the uh, bulk campaign manager URL here. And you're just going to paste in your Google Drive file URL that you've exported from Ad Tactics. Um, and then select your days of the week that you're going to want to run it. You're going to hit save task and it'll put it here in the scheduler. Uh, and then you just leave this kind of Chrome extension running in the background and it's just going to execute the tasks at the specified time. So pretty simple. The other aspect of the bulk campaign kind of platform is the downloads. So you've got a way here manually that you can uh, kind of pick a date range of PPC data that you want to work with. You can include certain tabs here, and then it's going to automatically download those for you, again, on a scheduled basis. So you're just going to come into the tool, you're going to assign the task name, the runtime, and then you'll specify your marketplace kind of URL there. Uh, similarly, on the campaign manager, you've got similar options here on the data date range, and then the checkboxes, and then the days. So you're just a lot able to kind of create this task scheduler with your downloads and uploads that allows you just a lot more flexibility for your PPC strategy. We've also got uh, four tools right now that are more product research and product opportunity explorer based. So it's going to allow you to uh, do quick kind of bulk product research. So to give you an example here, I'm within the product opportunity explorer and I just typed in this ASIN. Uh, you can see it's giving me the results for one ASIN and kind of does a reverse ASIN and finds other similar ASINs that um, are like mine. Um, what you can do is you can hop into the ASIN Explorer and you just pick your country and then you put in your ASINs and you can actually put in multiple ASINs here. And if I click now append all, that's going to essentially run this manual operation that I did. Uh, it's just going to do it on kind of more than one ASIN at a time. So I'm just going to hit download and you'll see that it downloads my file here real quick and then I can just use that in some of our keyword research tools um, that we have keyword dominator search query commander there's a few others that um, you can check out here that utilize some of this data so it's pretty powerful stuff the next one is similarly to the ASIN Explorer you've got the niche Explorer which is just this other view here you see um, so you can just do the exact same thing where you put in a list of ASINs, pick your country, and either append everything to one sheet or separate them out into separate sheets. So it's just essentially giving you uh, the data in this export here. And then again, we've got some tools within the FBA Excel tool suite that take this data and help you visualize and analyze it better. All right, so that's that one. Then you've got product niche details and search term niche details. I'm not going to actually run these because they're pretty similar as far as the UIs, but the data that you're actually gathering in bulk is from these customer needs. So this allows you to really kind of in mass, if you have some of your top competitors, see what Amazon is saying that 
uh, you know, their uh, niches and, and what they're fitting in really well. And what you can do is you can click drill down within these niches and you've got kind of a product view here, which gives you data on ASINs. And then you've got a search term view, which gives you uh, some data on keywords. So that's basically what you're gathering with the um, product niche details and the search term niche details. It's literally just product niche details and search term niche details. And you can also gather some of this information up here as well. And similarly to all of the extension tools, it's going to integrate with our uh, Google Sheets suite of tools at FBXL.io. So you can check that out. Then lastly, we've got some search query performance related data. So here you can see I'm within Amazon search query performance dashboard under the ASIN view, and I've just picked some data on one test product here. Um, what the search query simple tool, downloader tool is going to do is allow us to dump in multiple ASINs. Uh, we're able to pick multiple weeks of data so we can just select however many we want and then dump in all of our products here and append all of that data into one sheet that's really the most efficient and then what you can do then is import that data really efficiently into our search query commander tool which gives you kind of weekly rundowns and aggregate data of all the amazon centric reports uh, as well as you know your funnel metrics that that search query performance data is showing. It also is going to allow you if you use the search query details report here, and it's very similar UI, uh, but it's going to allow you to see some of your top 10 ASIN related data. Um, so that's really powerful and gives you kind of an expanded view off the Amazon brand analytics, which is going to show you kind of data on the top three. Um, hopefully this gives you a good summary of the current functionality of the FBXL extension. Definitely check out fbxl.io to get signed up and start using it. Thanks.